Last week, we spoke with Congressman Heiss following a, an oversight committee hearing looking into sort of what happened on January 6th. You know, he he is of the mind that this has become sort of like political theater, especially coming from the Democratic caucus in terms of their hyper focus on January 6th, especially over the past uh, week or two, where the world has really entered into a number of other sort of touchy, um, touchy areas and there are perhaps bigger issues that need to be focused on. Congressman, do you think that the caucus is sort of looking to move past January 6th at this point? Would you like to see uh, Congress focus on other issues outside of what happened, you know, several months ago? Well, I'll, I'll tell you what people everywhere I go are talking about. People, when I travel the country a lot, I go to a lot of swing districts. Uh, people want to see us focusing on this crazy socialist agenda that Speaker Pelosi and President Biden are carrying out. I mean, they're waiting in lines right now for gasoline and paying 20, 30 percent more at the pump. They're paying 400 percent more for lumber. They're paying more uh, for everything they buy at the grocery store. That's what most families are concerned about. They're wondering why the federal government's paying people not to work when every small business owner you talk to said they can't find workers and the federal government's borrowing money from China to pay people not to work. That's what people are irate about. Uh, they're wondering why President Biden won't stand up to the anti-Semites in the House Democrat conference who are attacking Israel openly right now when Israel's under attack uh, from rockets being fired uh, by a recognized terrorist organization, Hamas. Uh, and, and President Biden won't vocally stand with Israel against uh, some of his own uh, Democrat members who are attacking Israel during a time when they're under attack. Those are the things people care about. And that's what we're focused on uh, in reversing a lot of that crazy leftist agenda and stopping Biden's plan to raise taxes that would kill middle class jobs. So that's what we're focused on. Uh, let's solve the crisis at the border. There are a lot of crises right now under President Biden. He doesn't want to talk about those crises that he's helped create. He wants to keep talking about last year and divide the country further. I thought he ran saying he was going to unite the country. He's yet to fulfill that promise.